everyone welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video for you guys um, my husband and I are getting ready to go out of town for the weekend for our anniversary we'll be married 15 years this month it's hard to believe um, but we we're actually just taking a really short weekend trip to Asheville North Carolina um, we live in North Carolina so Asheville is um, about two and a half hours from us and it's just an absolutely beautiful city if you're not familiar with it um, there's the Biltmore Estate. There's just tons of stuff to do. There's local breweries, wineries, just you name it. It's just you can do a full weekend there um, and never run out of things to do. There's some really amazing restaurants, um, a lot of farm to table local restaurants. So we love going there. Plus, we have family there. So um, my sister in law lives there with her husband, and we will take my son and drop him off with them and they get to spend the weekend with their aunt and uncle and then Matt and I get to kind of have a little weekend to ourselves. So it works out perfectly for us. Um, but we are going to do some really fun things in Asheville this weekend. So I wanted to kind of show you what I'm taking and what I'm packing. Um, I always like to watch these videos on YouTube. I think it's really cool and neat to see what people take different places and what they pack and, and all of that. So um, the first thing, tomorrow when we leave, um, we are actually leaving right after my son's basketball game. So we're leaving straight from there and going to Asheville. So what I have on at the basketball game is what I'm going to have on in Asheville probably the rest of the afternoon. Now, the things that we're doing, we're not doing anything to where we have to get super dressed up. We really just wanted a laid back, chill weekend um, and just to do some fun adult things that we, t we wouldn't want to do, you know, if we had our son with us. So tomorrow afternoon, um, we are going to be taking a tour of the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, um, there in Asheville and having dinner there on site at their restaurant, um, called the Tap Room. It's just a very casual, laid back, you know, chill restaurant. And, um, since we're going to be on the tour, we are going to be doing some walking. So definitely wanted to wear something comfortable, but cute. It is really cold in Asheville right now. It's still, I think the high tomorrow is going to be in the like mid thirties. So it is going to be cold. So this is what I'm taking. So for my jeans, um, I'm taking the, um, Liverpool jeans that I got in my last stitch fix. Um, I really love these. These are the super skinnies and, um, they say legging, denim legging, but I think they're called the Elizabeth super skinny. Love these jeans and they're kind of a dark wash. So they do look a little bit dressy, like for going out to dinner or doing something fun. And that's really the only pants that I'm taking. So I'll show you what I do and how I get like two days use out of a clothing item when I travel here in just a second. But those are the jeans. So I'm going to wear those tomorrow morning to the basketball game. And then I'm also taking, um, this is just a black J. Crew, like those little tissue um, turtlenecks. And I have had this, it's got some lint on it. Um, I have had this turtleneck for a long time and I've gotten tons of use out of it. I love to layer it um, under um, like a blazer or a cardigan. It's kind of thin, so um, it's not like a bulky underneath a coat or anything. So I'm gonna wear that tomorrow to the game and I think I'm gonna wear some like big gold hoop earrings or some some kind of earrings that make it look a little bit dressier. Um, and then on top of that, I am going to take my, this is my J. Crew um, Chateau Parka. And I absolutely love this coat. I just got it for Christmas and it's just amazing. I love it. It's super cute. It's super dressy. Um, I don't know if you like Joanna Gaines, but if you follow Joanna Gaines, this is um, the same coat that she wears on a lot of her episodes. She just takes the fur out, which you, you totally can. It just like buttons out of the, the hood. But I just love that coat and I think it just, it's dressy and comfortable and cute and super warm. So um, that's what I'm going to be wearing to the brewing company. And as far as shoes are concerned, I'm going to take one pair of shoes. And again, these are, I'm just going to be wearing these. And these are just some um, booties that I bought at a local boutique here in Murphy. Um, and I really, really love them. They're like, they have kind of a scrunched up right here at your ankle and they've got a little bit of a heel but they're flat enough to where they're super comfortable i can wear them for a long time they don't hurt my feet they've got a little bit of a zipper detail here in the back um that actually doesn't unzip it's just for for looks but they unzip on the side so they're super easy to get on and off but i'm gonna wear these with those skinny jeans and cuff them up a little bit and so that's gonna be my outfit for night one when we go out to dinner so the next day we are actually meeting my son and some other family members and we are taking him to a um harlem globetrotters 
basketball game. So they're in Asheville. So for that, I'm going to wear those same jeans that I had. And I'm also going to take, again, I'm kind of seeing a theme here with my wardrobe, but what can I say? I like dark, neutral, warm colors. So this is um, a navy, um, kind of a tissue tee from Loft. It's not a turtleneck, it's just a t-shirt, but this is one of their just kind of basic. It's got a little bit of a boat neck, but I love this one because it does have a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see or not, but a little bit of a cuff detail here at the, at the um, sleeves. And then the bottom is kind of rounded off, so it's not just like a straight across t-shirt. So I'm going to take that with um, the same jeans again and boots. And then I'm also going to take this um, new cardigan that I got in my Stitch Fix that I will link to below. So this is that cardigan that came and it's got the fringe at the bottom that came in my last Stitch Fix and I absolutely love it. And one of the stripes running through here is navy. So I thought that would be super cute, super casual to wear to um, the ball game. It's really warm. So I'm gonna wear that over top of the navy t-shirt with um, the booties and that's all I'm gonna take. Um, and then obviously pajamas, underwear, all of that good stuff. But I really just, I want to pack light. I don't want to take a ton of things. Um, so that's all the clothing items that I'm going to take. I really don't think I'm going to have a need for anything dressier, a dress or anything. We pretty much have planned out what we're going to be doing. Um, Sunday morning, we're going to just um, hit up a good breakfast brunch spot before we meet up with our family um, to go to the Globetrotters game. So that's it for clothes. Now, as far as toiletries, so this is my, this is my big bag that I keep my toiletries in. Now, I will say that this bag pretty much stays packed all the time. I do travel um, for work uh, pretty often. I would say once or twice a month, I travel for work overnight. So this is my standard like overnight bag. I just leave it packed with these toiletries. Um, and then I add in, you know, my everyday makeup and stuff like that. But there's, I always have this bag. So I just keep all of my toiletries in a big gallon Ziploc bag. I think that's the easiest thing. That way if it spills, it's not going to spill all over anything. And then uh, periodically I'll just throw this away and get a new one and it's it's fine. So I keep all my toiletries in there. But I'll kind of show you what's in here. So a mini size or travel size of the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the blush scent. And I have another one of these actually on backup. But I think I have enough just to do one day. And what I did is this morning after, um, or while I was getting ready after I went to the gym and stuff, I just went ahead and washed my hair. So my hair is freshly washed, freshly blow dried. So in the morning, I'll just get up, curl it a little bit, and um, then I won't have to wash it again because I don't wash my hair every day. So I won't have to wash it again um, until I get back home. So dry shampoo. Um, I always travel with a shower cap because I don't want to get my hair wet in the shower. And then just some things for my hair. So a clip, a duckbill clip um, to pull it up if I needed to flat iron it or whatever while I'm gone. Toothbrush, um, a travel size of the Tresemme um, hairspray. And I always take Visine with me. I have really sensitive eyes. Um, I don't wear contacts or anything, but I typically leave that in my travel bag just um, in case. And then I have a travel size of the Garnier Micellar Water. And then I have a travel size of the Purity Face Wash. And this is the face wash that I like to use at night in the shower. I actually have the gel formula right now that I like even better than this one. But this is just a travel size that I've had for a while. And I just leave it in my travel bag. I never take it out. That way I know I've got good face wash while I'm out of town. Um, and then this... Is the downy wrinkle release now i don't know if you've ever used this before or not but i love this stuff and i actually have a big bottle of it in my laundry room but basically what it is it's it eliminates odors it refreshes your fabric and it also removes static and and wrinkles so what i do when i travel like for instance this weekend i'm only taking one pair of blue jeans so what i do is i just take my blue jeans when i take them off tomorrow night I'll just spray this all over them, lay, lay them out flat, and it basically just refreshes your fabric and it gets all the odors if you've like been through smoke or anything like that. It'll get all the odors out and it just makes them fresh so you can get more than one day out of them. This is my secret weapon for travel. Um, when we go on our cruises, we take the big thing of this. Um, that way we don't have to pack like a, an outfit for every single day, a separate outfit. Like I can wear a pair of shorts on the cruise ship 
two or three days. I can get like three days out of a pair of shorts as long as I don't spill something on them or whatever. And in that case, I just have them laundered. But um, I love the downy wrinkle release. It's really great. So, and I love that they have those little travel sizes because the big bottle is pretty big. So the travel size always have that with me um, in my bag. So there is that bag. And then as far as um, hair, um, I also take my travel size. I have a travel size um, Chi flat iron. And I basically just take this um, for my bangs because at night when I put them up to wash my face or when I sleep, my bangs get really jacked up. So I take that flat iron just to kind of make them. And I have a cowlick on this side, which is infuriating. And so I have to like kind of flat iron it down. But I just travel with that. It's super small. It's a little... Um, travel size and it has this nice little heat proof bag that, that um, travels with it too so um, as far as skincare and makeup I'm taking my bum bum cream I absolutely love this stuff my husband got it for me for Christmas um, and oh my gosh it just smells it smells like heaven um, and this stuff when I put it on at night after my shower in the morning I can still smell it. It smells so strong and it just stays on. It's just really, really great. So I am going to take that with me because I love putting that on at night. And then here is, uh, let me do this other skincare side. So this is my little skincare travel thing. This is from Rodan and Fields. And um, this has my a uh, reverse regimen, which I've already went over in a previous video. I use this in the, every morning, my reverse regimen. Um, and then I'm also taking, of course, my eye cream, Rodan and Phil's eye cream. And then um, for deodorant, I got this um, right around Christmas time. It's the La Vanilla. Now, I don't use regular deodorant with aluminum and all that. My husband and I stopped using that several years ago, and it's amazing at what happens this is so gross, but what happens to your armpits when you stop using regular deodorant? It's life-changing. But this smells really, really, really good, and I really like it. I just bought the little size to try it out, but I think I'm going to end up buying the big size of that when I'm out. And then I also am taking my lip scrub, my Sarah Hap Brown Sugar Lip Scrub. I use it every morning. Um, and I'm also going to take, instead of taking like a full-size thing of my serum that I've been using, I'm going to... Uh, take one of these little like foil packets of the Sika Pear Dr. George Serum. That way I don't have to take the big like glass container of it. And that's enough to do me uh, two, like, two uses. And then same thing for my um, makeup remover. If I want to use a makeup remover in the shower, I'm going to take just a full packet of the Bosha uh, Makeup Breakup. But typically the Purity will do the job. Um, but I do keep these in my travel bag just in case. And then um, also a full packet. And these little full packets my husband actually put in my stocking for Christmas, which was so sweet. He went to Sephora and just told them that he he was buying. So he bought me the Bum Bum Cream and he bought me some other stuff in Sephora. Um, and at the register, the lady was, I guess, talking to him. And he said, this is for my wife's stocking. And she gave him like handfuls of samples of all of this stuff. So I'm taking advantage of them being travel friendly. This is the L'Occitane um, Shea Butter. I love this for hand cream. It's amazing. It doesn't have a strong scent. And then um, I'm also taking for perfume. This is a travel size of the Chanel Blue de Chanel. And I've been using this at home. I love the I actually have it on right now. I love the way it smells. And I just love these little travel things. I'm one of those people who anytime I get perfume samples, I'm all about it because I don't really have a signature scent. I like to just try different ones. So that is my, oh, and night cream. So I'm taking the Take a Deep Breath Philosophy Night Cream. Um, and I use this after my face wash and my Rodan and Fields toner at night. Um, and then I put this the Dr. Dark Serum and then this on the top. And that's my final step of my nighttime routine. Um, so I am taking that. And then the other side of this little like bag thing I just have all my brushes and my, my eyelash curler and all of that so um, just my standard brushes that I'm taking for my makeup not a lot of stuff and then as far as makeup is concerned I'm basically taking exactly what I have on my face right now so my Arbonne mascara and this is the lipstick that I have on right now I really like this and I'm just put it in my bag just to have something different but it's 
the NARS um, Satin Limp Pencil in Rakugan. I don't even know how you say that. R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. Anyway, um, love this. You just have to have a like sharpener to sharpen it, but it's a really pretty like nude color. Um, so I am going to put that in my bag. As far as base, I have on the Sika Pear um, Derma Green Solution, the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. And I'm going to do a review of this line later on because uh, I just started using it. So I don't, I want to use it for a little while before I do a proper review. But this is my base. So this is not necessarily a foundation, but it is a color correcting cream and it's amazing. It's what I have on my face right now. I don't have on a foundation, just this for my base. It's really great. Um, as far as a setting powder, well, I'll do concealer. So concealer, no surprise here. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's always in my bag. And for a powder to kind of bake my under eye and just kind of mattify everything, um, the Cody Airspun, that is my go-to amazing face powder. I absolutely love it. Better than any high-end powder I've ever tried, and it's like $5 at Walmart. Um, then, let's see y'all. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to, of course, Maybelline 24 hour cream back to the bronze. And a lot of this stuff guys, I've already went over in a previous video. So I'll link all that down below. Um, I am going to take a highlighter just for a little something extra. I do have a little bit of this on today on my cheeks. This is the Mary Luminizer, um, from the balm. I have had this. I cannot even tell you how long I've had this. And I love it. It's just like such an easy, nice highlighter. Really like that. For blush, I'm taking the um, Amazonian Clay Party brush, Blush. And again, this was in another video. And then for bronzer, I am going to take a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to take the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like coconut amazingness like I love this bronzer so what I like to do with this is just take a little bit and put kind of right here right here on my nose like around and it just gives me a little bit of color if I'm wearing a little bit more makeup I do like to use that this stuff is just the best and I'm getting really kind of you can see like the indention in it right there I'm getting pretty low on it I really want to try the butter bronzer uh, blushes but I have made a new year's resolution this year to not buy anything else until I have used something up. So as soon, like for instance, as soon as I use up one of my Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewinds, um, I will allow myself to buy a new blush. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new product, but I want to try to use up some of the things that I have um, before I buy new stuff. So that's kind of a New Year's resolution, and I'm doing that with clothes as well. It's killing me. Okay, so um, just a couple things that I always kind of keep in this bag. I always keep hand sanitizer. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works Stress Relief, and then I actually have just a Purell one as well. Um, I love to keep hand sanitizer in, in my bag at all times, especially because flu is running rampant right now, and I do not want the flu. Um, I also have a Nivea lip balm. It doesn't have any color to it. It's just a straight up lip balm. I love this in my bag because if my son needs it, if my husband needs it, I just have a non-colored lip balm, which I rarely have in my purse. Um, and then I also have, um, some band-aids just in case and a pen. So those are just a couple things that live in my, um, in my carry on bag that I, I mean, I just really love. Oh, oh, and I forgot one other thing. So this is a, my husband got this for me last year in my stocking. He does the best stocking gifts. Like he's amazing. So this, um, little nail kit is just the greatest thing ever to travel with. Okay, so it just snaps shut. It's soft, right? It's not huge. You can just throw it in your bag, but it has everything in here. It's got cuticle clippers. It's got toenail, fingernail, a filer, like little scissors. It's just got everything because it never fails. As soon as we leave town and we are out somewhere, I will chip a nail, I will break a nail, and then it will be jagged, and I will start catching it on my clothes. So what I did is I just started putting this in my travel bag. So whenever we're out of town, I always have nail clippers or whatever in case something happens and I need them, but it just kind of lives in this bag. So 
that is it you guys that is all I have for this video I hope you enjoyed it um I love watching these type of videos just to see what people you know uh, pack and what they take on vacation and what they take on trips again this is a really short trip for us um just basically the essentials um and you know I didn't put obviously socks underwear you know bras pajamas and all that stuff um but literally my husband will probably throw in his body wash um, maybe not even that. We probably will just use what we have at the hotel. He will literally throw in a razor and uh, some cologne and his clothes, and then he's good to go. Like, hey, don't you wish, don't you wish that you could pack like a man? No, we have to take all of this, but it's okay. So, all right, guys. Well, you all have a great weekend, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.